everyone, this is Mark with Team Shockwave with Samuel uh, at YCS Providence. Today, he top 32 with what deck? Uh, Fire King Cosmo. Why did you choose to play that deck with all the decks we have so far? Um, I've been co playing Cosmo since the beginning. I feel most comfortable with this deck. And yeah. Alright, um, how was your matchup throughout um, this whole event? I lost round 8. I went undefeated to round 7, lost round 8. And then um, the next day, I got a draw. And then round 10, I lost. And I'm, I got um, 31st place in Swiss. Alright, good. So, you want to get straight to the deck from? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Cool. So, um, the ships, 3, Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Best card in the deck, tutors any of your Cosmo monsters because he could just blow himself up, get any Cosmo monsters you need to combo, and can't be targeted. Best card in the deck. Uh, one Delta Shuttle used to be whack, but now it's pretty good because uh, with Fire King Island, you dump stuff and then you combo off. And it's level 5 for infinity. Two slip riders. I think this is the second best ship because um, you could destroy town to tutor any of your cards and um, level five makes Cyberdyne Infinity a very versatile card. Two land walkers. This card is insane in the mirror match with Dark Lady. It's a lock, and if you protect. Um, your Tin Can and your Strongman with the Cosmo Town, you're in a really good position right now. So, I, and I decided to play two of this because I put Fire King Island. So, if he's a level 6, he could go down to level 5 without the shuttle. Easier. One Forerunner. His effect comes in clutch by gaining life. And um, he crashes with Monarchs. So, he's really clutch too. One was enough for you? Yeah, one. I, I don't, I don't want to draw too many ships, so. Alright. One's good. Onto the pilots, uh, two dark lady. Um, she's really good in the mirror. Like her and Landwalker is like a lock. But um, I sighted her out a lot against monarchs because they're just gonna storm forth throw her away, and she's she barely gets her effect kicking in against monarchs. But overall, she's necessary in the deck. She's really good against the mirror match. Right. Like if I have dark if. No mirror match. My opponent has Dark Destroyer, and I have a Dark Destroyer in this. I'll, uh, it's usually a game because their Dark Destroyer is not going to go off. It's going to get negated. All right. Two sword troopers. Yep. Not. I didn't not want to play three because two's the um, best number for this card. Um, honestly, this card is great for comboing off, but it sucks seeing it in your hand first turn. Right. It does nothing with it with the empty graveyard, you know? But it's, I like it a lot because you get a straw man from the grave and um, rank three place. But it's really good in deck. Cosmo Farm Girl. Um, some people don't play it, but I choose to play it because it, it, it could steal games with Emergency Teleport and Dark Destroyer. Do massive damage. Massive damage, yeah, yeah. It's crazy how in the beginning we used to play three of her, but now at the with all the support we only play one. That's I find that really crazy, but it's uh, a really good card. I know, right? Two Cosmo Strongman, one of the best pilots because it gets all your resources back, like banish dark destroyers, banish slip riders, and it puts you back into the game, and you can tag them out. To deal more damage, so you could tag him out for another Dark Destroyer to do more damage. I think this is like one of the best pilots in the deck. Double Tin Can. This card, I wanted to play three, but from testing, three was too much with the Fire King version. So two was the perfect number for this card, in my opinion. Right. And I feel in the mirror match, if you open up Tin Can, and set a mojo or call to honey. You're in a way better position than your opponent. In the mirror match, this card is insane. 
in, in some ways, this card is a lot better than Farm Girl because it's, it sets you up. And I hate this card, but you have to play it. Right. I drew, I drew this shit a lot. So your Fire King, you didn't really search out for it. What? Well, uh, for your uh, Fire King Island, you didn't really search out for it since you already had it in your hand. I drew this so many times, but like with Fire King Island, I'm like, why? But I still managed to win because right. I had an emergency teleport and I called on it. Oh, uh, hand traps, triple maxi. You have to play three maxi this format. If you <laughs> You definitely have to play three maxi this format. If you're not, you're likely gonna lose because the format's pretty crazy right now. Alright. And it's good against XC Monarchs, which is being played a lot. And double Valor, because I expected a lot of Monarchs for this event. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to play this to stop Erebus and Aether because uh, Monarchs is. If they, if they keep their engine going with yeah, Pantheism and uh, Prime. My, my list is right like, there. It's really hard to stop them, so like this just stops monarchs, right. it stops the squire, stops Aether and Erebus, so it's really good. Launch us both. Free Cosmos on. The best field spell card ever. Pretty standard. Triple terraforming. You get Cosmo Town. Yep. And. One Fire King Island. No, this. This card. This card really, really made this deck explosive. Fixed a lot of problems. Unbreaking ships. Card's really good. One Upstart Goblin. For consistency. And two Emergency Teleports. One of the best quick play spells ever. <laughs> Tutors, everything. Tin can, farm girl, straw man, sh sword troopers. And onto the traps. Triple call. Yep. For bringing back the ships. Bringing back ships. I feel very confident if I open up tin can and this, most likely I win the game. Alright. And three of the best trap cards Cosmojo. This card is busted. In the mirror match, this card is such a blowout. Like, this card is really good. <laughs> One of my favorite trap cards. Oh, uh, side deck or extra deck? Uh, it's your choice. I'll go for extra deck. Okay, so, Cyber Dragon Nova, Infinity. This is like the only legit deck since the, the banning of Ptolemy's only deck you can bring out Infinity with. Uh, so quantum map, make me use pulse. Yep. For combos and to destroy your town. One Dante, because you'll, you'll see why in the side deck. One Ignister, same reason as Dante. I play number 107 for against F0, because um, if I have two Dark Destroyers, F0 is a pain, pain in the butt. Like, if I have if I have two Dark Destroyers, I can overlay this and run over F0 and out. One Herald of Pure Light right. for Straw Man. One number F0 Utopic Feature. Right. One Love Iron. It's really good in this deck. Phantom Knight is a Break Sword. I find this card really great. Because of the fact you could just sword troopers, sword troopers, break iron wall, break floodgates, um, break your town. It's just a combo card. This card is amazing. I, I summoned it like twice this one. One me duels. Uh, Pallades, never made. Bogosaurus, made once. One me the game. Right. Thunder Charger. Yep. The combo piece. Combo piece. And I put. I decided to play these bugs. Huh. So how, oh yeah, this is very I never made these, but like just in case I play against, uh, can't run over Beatrice or Prime Monarch, I'll have this. Alright. And onto the side deck. Three Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries for Burning Abyss. And um, 
pendulums because I'll just banish their Ignis or their only out to Dark Destroyer other than Utopia. Oh, uh, and uh, banish Dante's. Three Twin Twisters. Amazing card, I love this card. One Regeki. Against um, Monarchs when they decide Majesty Fiend. Um, two system down for the mirror. Three Mask Restrict for Monarchs. One Magic Deflector. And two Anti Spell Fragrance for Pendulums. I felt that Pendulums was really good because no one was maining Strike really, so they'll probably be a force in this tournament. And I played against one Pendulum deck, and um, Anti-Spell Fragrance was really good in that game. Alright. Thank you again, Sam, for the deck profile. Before we head out, do you have any shoutouts that you want to give? To um, my friends uh, um, that drove me to this event, his name is Bruno. He, uh, let me stay over his room, drove me here. He's a good friend. Alright. And um, shoutouts to... Um, People I play with in uh, Flushing Main Street. I go to Flushing a lot, and um, I play in their local tournaments. And yeah, it's a good place to practice. Yeah. All right. Thank you again for the deck profile. This is Park Shockwave signing out. Yeah.